we want to make sure that the camera follows the main player. Now, each client will have their own main player, so each camera on each client will follow a different player. And let's work on this. Um, I want you to open the player ID script, so look for player and you'll find the player ID. And if you look inside of it, at some point, when we, um, we, we, um, we have a, a method here called onStartPlayer, and at this point, we can get a hold of the player and set the camera transforms target. If you look in the camera script, the main camera, so select the main camera and locate the camera follow. And as you can see, within the camera follow, you have the target, which is the player. So we want to change that target. Luckily for us, this is a public object, so we can change that. Go to the player ID, and then we're going to change the camera target. Um, we can just um, add a method here, set camera target, and let's create it. That will be um, public. We don't even need public, but I'm just going to do void, set camera target, and the target would be the local player. So that would be uh, this. So we don't even need to do anything. I can just put camera dot main dot get component and the component that we're going to get is the um, the camera script if you don't remember what the camera script this is the camera follow script right here that's the name of it so we're getting the camera follow dot target is equal to this all right and here, just to make sure, we can add if is local player, so that we don't set the enemies, uh, the, the other character. All right. Now, what we can do is inside of the camera sprint, so the camera follow, open it, and we're going to work on the logic here. By the way, in the player ID, you need to make sure that you can do this dot game object inside of the set camera target, so that we make sure that it's a game object. All right. Excellent. Save that as well. Now, as you can see here inside of the camera follow, this is in the start and we don't need this anymore because as you can see, um, in the start, we may not have the character just yet. So there's no point of having these lines of code. Plus in the updates, it only moves the camera if the target is different than no. So if we have a player, so that's perfect. All right, save this. Now I'm going to go in the main camera and under the inspector, I'm going to change the clipping planes from far a thousand to the near to negative 100. Why? Because I have some stuff that's in the negative space. If you go to the scene, some stuff are below zero. So I'm going to put negative 100. All right. Now save and play that. Creating a host and a client. And as you can see, I'm moving the host and it's working great only on one side. The camera is moving only on, on one side and not the other. Perfect. That's exactly what you want so that it follows the right character. Now the light is a bit too strong because the light is coming from both, uh, both clients. So you can either put the light uh, only on the server or dim the light down. Let's fix the lighting. What we need is to set the offset. We did not do that. So let's go ahead and do this now. Void set offset or set camera offset. And then that will be a vector three because that's, that's what we're going to, um, to give. And what we would do here is that this dot offset, so we change the offset, which is a vector three, is equal to camera dot transform or actually that would be this dot transform dot position minus offset. And then we need to call this, so we need to make this public. So we're going to call that, save it, and let's go to the player ID. And in the player ID script, we're going to add that in the set camera target. So that will be camera dot main dot get component camera follow dot set camera offset, and that would be this dot game object dot transform dot position. All right, that's it. Save this and let's give it a shot now in Unity. Make sure you save the camera to follow script as well. 
right? I'm just going to press play now and just go in the simulator and press the uh, LAN host. And as you can see, now we have a perfect, um, a perfect light. Now, if you want, it's a good time to play with the lighting. You can always pause the game and click on the directional lighting and change the intensity here. You know, it's up to you at this point and also the bounce. As you can see, this has hard shadows, but you can do soft shadows or no shadows. It's up to you. Um, also, there's there's kind of a yellowish looking type of lighting. You can put it more in the reddish area or more in the greenish area. It's up to you at this point or blue. All right. And something else you can play with is the main camera. You can select the um, right here, the, the uh, rendering path using player settings, but you can also use um, legacy vertex lit that looks like cartoonish looking. Here it is. As you can see, it's cartoonish, but you have to um, increase the directional light, the intensity. As you can see, the colors are a lot more vivid. All right, so have fun with the lighting and the camera and play with it to get exactly what you want.